thing get worse. Oh, 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 oh,
Probably Lane Bryant. Well, was it Lane Bryant? No, Lane well, is you. Right. <laughs> and this was the ladies' wear shop? Uh-huh. Okay, that was good. That was good. Okay. And then you didn't like that, would you go to work for? P.S. P.S. Uh-huh. What's that? Ladies' retail. Uh, before that. For about a month. Oh, child care center. Oh, child care center. Okay. And then in 84, in 85, you went to work. Yes. At PS, which is uh, ladies wear again. Yeah. So you kind of like those ladies wear. What was your major when you went to college? A business and then arts. Oh, okay. Well, somebody was telling me that you were majoring in mannequin, <laughs> <laughs> and that that's why you went to work at the, you went to work at these ladies wear places so that you could pose. <laughs> is that not true? Maybe no. she wanted the male to come alive. Want the what? <laughs> So, see, I was hoping that that name would change, but it had. So, you went to work for the company back in March 12, 1985. Okay. So, that's about seven years that you worked for the company. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Has anybody else got any, because uh, some people have worked closer with it than I have. Has anybody got anything else? Any little stories that they would like to add to this? <laughs> I'm back here. Understand, this is free game. <laughs> so, hey, shots. Come on, this is your well, chance. I, I always thought if I could just be Jody's agent and get her a laugh on, on the eight-track tape, I could just end in, you know, these shows that need <laughs> laughter, and we could both make a fortune. She just wouldn't work with me. She let her laugh. Yeah, yeah her laugh. <laughs> so, any other, Charlotte, you've worked with her a long time. Any little stories that uh, are you... Uh, no, she, I'm real she, she'll make me up. <laughs> she'll have her chance. She'll have her chance to do Charlie. That's right. She's going to have her chance. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jody, we want to thank you for sharing seven years of your life with us in South and in, in the accounting office. Oh, so you're not Publishers Clearinghouse? No, not Publishers Clearinghouse. I'm going to give you any checks. So, no one from my past that I was going to No one from in? your past, unless you know somebody from your past, we need to help. <laughs> you want to share that with us, anything? Uh, Is there something? That you want to tell now, I and mean, it's time to do it because nobody can. Uh, we all move way well, Milton, you remember about three years ago? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Do I? I'm getting blushing again. <laughs> no. Do I remember a year ago? <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we really do care. Thank you. Back in 86, <laughs> Jody and other girls were in a huddle laughing about this book. A no, book? I <laughs> a really? I was just thinking, and I saw one of the most amazing sights I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> the, the, the picture and the book are the... We'll, we'll leave it at that. I know Jody... It's Jody, something Jody, private. Yeah, well, <laughs> First time I'd ever heard Jody laugh. I mean, and, and it, I thought, man, something must be going on here. And I wished I hadn't walked in and looked. <laughs>
trying to find something here and there. Just a whole heck of a lot here. Uh, back in about 1985, uh, you lived on a place uh, 2045 uh, Knoll Crest in Arlington. Correct. Okay. Uh, before that, you came from kind of a foreign country. Did you not? No, I did not. Where did you come from? California. Foreign country. <laughs> you went to Rosemead. That's for me, Rosemead uh, High yeah. School mm -hmm. in Rosemead, California. Correct. Right. Where's Rosemead? It's between, uh, it's uh, off Los Angeles in oh. San Diego. Mm -hmm. Big area. Huh? Up by Monroe. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Glad you cleared that up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where's Monroe? See, I've known Wayne for a long time. Wayne knows California. And let's see, your first, you remember your first job? Mm-hmm. Montgomery Wards. First job, Montgomery Wards started in what year? 1970. You're right. You remember the month? <coughs> February. January. Oh, right. That's close. In <laughs> Rosemead, California, Monkey Wards. And then, I think that you moved to Texas after that. Probably. No. I you had another job between then. Ah, uh, what was that? Little Folks Shop. Ooh, Little Folks. In Mesquite, Texas? In Mesquite? Yes. Mesquite, California? <coughs> no, 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 no. I worked for Little Folks in California, and they transferred me to Texas. That's oh. how I come to this great state. <laughs> but you live in Arlington, mm -hmm. and you drove all the way to Mesquite. Correct. And that's why you quit that job. That's right. Because you had to drive 81 miles mm -hmm. a one day. Mm -hmm. one, was it one way? One way. Woo. Mm -hmm. And you've been with the company almost seven years. Seven years, ten months, and two days. And the only thing I have do you listen to the radio a lot when you drive the car? <laughs> yes. When you drive, it's a pickup, right? It's a, I have two. I have a pickup and a car. When you, when you drive your pickup. Uh -huh. Is it like maybe the seatbelt is too tight? Or, I mean, is there... I mean, I just I hear these rumors, you know, about they try to pass out, they call at her, they holler at her, they holler at her, and now they won't even look left or right. She keeps going right straight down, kind of one tire up on that white stripe, because I think that's what keeps you. Where you can find your right work. Well, when you're driving and you want to go someplace, I get there. Oh, okay. I don't know. against the curve. Too. Oh. Ella, thank you for seven years, ten months, and two having days. two days and sharing it with us. Thank you. We'll miss you. Thank you. Oh, boy, this is going to be a tough one. Uh, Francis. Francis, I wouldn't just answer that. Boy, this one goes way hey, back. You, if it goes back as far as you might go, you've been digging in the antique files, haven't you? <laughs> we'll say that there are some things in here that I opted to leave out. Good. Okay. Good. But wait till it's <laughs> heavy. Until we get until we get to it. Uh, back in 1979, you lived at uh, 2941 Lipscomb mm -hmm. in Fort Worth. Uh, that's when you went to work with the company was uh, July the 26th, 1979. And you came from Montana. Uh-uh. <laughs> no? Uh -uh. You didn't go to Carrollton High School in Carrollton, Montana? No, but I did go to Carrollton High School. <laughs> Where was it? Carrollton, Missouri. MO stands for Missouri. <laughs> In Missouri, uh, I think it was was it probably wasn't your first job, but back in '67 and '70, you worked for Orsland Truck Lines. Orsland, and who was the owner of that? Do you remember? Who was the owner of Orsland Truck Lines? Well, it was some brothers named Orsland. <laughs> One of his name was Elmer. Elmer. <laughs> Elmer. <laughs> his name was Elmer. Elmer. And I was his secretary. Elmer. And then. Now, see, this was the part I started to leave out, and I'm not going to do it now. People make fun of me because I thought M.O. was Montana. <laughs> <laughs> so i got to throw this in. Now, according to what I understand from my sources, you helped some friends open up, and I think it was a strict teens bar. Well, you could call it that. <laughs> 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 
many hours we were ready to strip it. Okay. No. It was, in fact, it was kind of a unique for Missouri because it was kind of a restaurant striptease bar. Right? And I understand you were the first uh, dancer at that. <laughs> Is that cool? Well, um, no, I didn't pass the test on that one. I couldn't dance. And what was it? It was called Quesa de No. De... Quesa de Young. That's what it was. Yeah. yeah. It's right here. It was a Spanish restaurant, and that was really kind of, that's very unique from where I was from. And it was upstairs, and we worked a lot of hours, and never tasted Spanish food. But this lady in Rand had worked in Dallas. So, so it was Texas flavored when it got there. Yeah. So it wasn't a strip tea? Mm -hmm. Oh, we didn't dance on the floor. a lot more exciting. Yeah, yeah they ran us out of town, too. <laughs> And then you went from there and you worked for what I thought was kind of unique. You worked for a paper. What was the name of the paper? The paper. <laughs> <laughs> what Shepard called it. <laughs> How unique. <laughs> <laughs> it says it all in, 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 in two words. Well, the he, paper. He, he couldn't, you know, he didn't want to compete with the Mon Mobile Monitor Index, so he called it the paper. But he also owned the radio station in town. Okay. Well, you were circulation then. Yes. What was the circulation? Mm. Or the <laughs> paper? Well, now, I don't remember. Seven counties? Eight, mm -hmm. nine, ten people? Yeah. Well, they had, uh, there were more than that because we had drivers. No. We had to keep track of I don't know how many people, how many drivers I had. But we had to make sure the paper got to all those counties. And then I guess your last job before you moved to Fort Worth was <coughs> at, remember? I remember. Can you pronounce it? Nope. <laughs> Narragansett. No, Narragansett. Narragansett. I was darn close. You were close. And you uh, know what it was? You know what they it said? was in uh, Missouri. Yeah, but you know what they did? No. I didn't think so. But I can tell you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're a um, a sporting goods uh, distributor. They make and also gymnastic parallel bars. They made up the boxing rings that Muhammad Ali really? fought with. Ooh. Did you get to make those? Well, actually, no. I, I got to sit down in the office and just uh, try to sell them. Oh. Well, I know the one thing that we're going to miss, and we're talking about from 1979, so we're talking about... Uh, 13 and a half years, yeah. 13 and a half? Because mm -hmm. it wasn't all in the office. You were in no, manager was, and uh, assistant stores. manager and clerk in the store. 13 and a half years. Well, I know one thing that we'll miss is we're going to miss Sue and her family at the picnics. Oh, yes, because I can really have a picnic with my bunch. Yeah, that's right, because they always help clean up and, uh, and uh, get everything set up and close well, it down. If you all were going to feed them, they might as well work for it, too. <laughs> yes. But then when you've got, you know, seven children and twelve grand grandchildren and one more on the way, well, grandchild, that is, on the way. <laughs> you, you can have a surprise. <laughs> Sue, I'd like to thank you for spending 13 years I enjoyed with it. us. I enjoyed thank it. Thank you. Very much. And, and uh, had a lot of great experiences. And that quiet one over there in the corner that's not saying a word. We used to bowl with him on the 7 Eleven bowling team. You still what? Bowl. 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 But it's been it's been great, and I have enjoyed it. I've learned a lot, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm gonna miss it. Thank you. Well, I want to uh, keep us informed as to how this business. <coughs> well, I was just reading the sign over here, and I said, except for store on that second line, I don't have a store yet. Right. That may come along, problem. but uh, I've learned a lot. I'm using the principles that I apply. And somebody was watching me out there selling one day, and she said. <coughs> 7-Eleven, plus sale, plus sale, plus sale. I said, yeah, that's where I learned it. Yeah. <laughs> so what company is this? Diana's Designs, but it, and it does, uh, we, we design jewelry, uh, sterling silver, surgical steel, sunbo, <coughs> and a lot of just costume jewelry, because that's what we have a lot. We have some wholesale counts. Anybody's interested? We provide. <laughs> Good luck. Okay, and now down to the last. <laughs>